So that's the new Suzuki uh, Jigsaw. Uh, it's been updated. Uh, as you can see, the graphics are new. This is a lime green and black one. And if I move to the side, you'll see the other new thing, and that's the rear disc brake. Uh, that's right over there. This motorcycle otherwise has no significant updates and it is scheduled for launch in the first quarter of the next financial year. So that's between uh, April and June uh, 2016. In the middle is the new axis and I'm going to come back to that because that's the really new one. This is the Suzuki Jigsaw SFFI. The FI stands for fuel injection and if you look in the middle there you can see uh, that's the throttle body uh, peeking out from under the fairing. This one also has a rear disc brake and it has these new graphics that you can identify. Suzuki is most likely going to allow these motorcycles to sit next to the current Jixers with minor updates and therefore there will be a small attendant price rise when they launch and the launch for this one is also scheduled for the same thing that's the first quarter of the next financial year so it could be any time between uh, May, uh, April, May and June but the all new vehicle here is this that's the Suzuki Access and yeah it looks like a nice uh, even sedate looking family scooter which is how family scooters are supposed to be but the Access does have a reputation doesn't it we loved riding it because it was so fast this one is all new, that's a 12 inch alloy wheel in the front, you can see the disc brake through the wheel. Uh, I can't go up on stage so I can't show you the other side right now. Uh, and uh, it's also got an all new engine, I'm going to go down to the spec sheet for a moment because this is interesting. So it's a 2 valve engine, 124cc, makes 8.7 PS, 10.2 uh, nm of torque, there are no units but I'm telling you those are the right units. Uh, this will also have a base version which will have drum brakes and uh, 10 inch wheels. This particular one is wearing 1990s and 1900, uh, 12 inch in the front, 10 in the back, tubeless tires. But what I'm going to, I'm not scrolling down for on purpose because look at this. It weighs just 102 kilos. So if the old scooter was a firecracker, this one should be a uh, should be absolutely amazing to ride. Uh, I can't open the seat and show you. And Suzuki are telling me that the under seat space on this scooter is also amazing. So all in all, this should be a really really impressive probably the best 125cc class uh, scooter you can buy. This is all going to come down to April to uh, June 2016. All of the three are scheduled to launch in the first quarter of the next financial year.